so I wanted to do a video today on um, the benefits I feel of cold water swimming and cold water dipping and the reason I'm finding a way to get in cold water even when I'm not really leaving the house much at the moment. So there are lots and lots of benefits. Um, it, anecdotally it makes you feel good. It has there is anecdotal studies that are slowly being backed up with scientific studies that are peer reviewed about the benefits to um it helping with depression and anxiety because it puts you in a stressful situation and your body kind of body and brain sort of practice overcoming it and um, it's also intense mindfulness you have to be very present in terms of focusing on your breathing focusing on how your body's feeling and that I think helps, what well, certainly helps me when I feel anxious and over overwhelmed with stuff to kind of get in cold water. It helps me slow my brain down a little bit. Um, in terms of physiologically, I really think it helps with um, just general well-being. Again, because you've got this reboot, reset, um, I'm always very aware if I feel different in the water. Um, one of the first inklings I had that I might have been pregnant when last year was um i did a swim and didn't feel great uh, i mean that could have been attributed to many things but i noticed a difference um whereas i could have been in denial for a lot longer um yeah but you know because my heart's working a bit harder because my capillaries are working to keep the blood flowing around my body um because my lungs are working to regulate my breathing um it you know it it helps with that um, I also find, and this is a bit weird, that it helps me see tricky to save my own. I've got any issues with, with my teeth because you know when you drink a cold drink or your ice cream or eat anything sugary and like a tooth hurts. Um, when I breathe in water or put my mouth in the, in the cold water, it kind of it gives me another inkling that I might have something wrong with the tooth, um, which actually currently means I do have to go. But I am going back to the dentist for another trouble filling. Yay. Um, yeah, so there's that. It's just kind of a way to check in with um, what your body's doing. Um, in terms of for me as well, particularly since having my daughter, it's a moment and period of time I can be completely selfish. So um, when I'm in the bin or in a river or a lake or whatever, um, I'm me, I'm not just mum. And that's something I've really struggled with um, since being pregnant and having my daughter is that I felt a bit overwhelmed with how responsible I was and how much she depended on me um and my brain just kind of felt like it was going to mush to kind of mum blobness and this has just been a way for me to keep my self as me um see so I've had my, my, my other half is very very useful um and on board and completely supportive of me doing this because it wouldn't be possible if there wasn't him to watch my girl watch my girl um yeah, I think it's been really, really useful to have something that is for me and helps me kind of reclaim my body a little bit. Whereas in, you know, all through pregnancy, I, I was solely focused on making sure my girl was okay um, and getting her out. And yeah, yay, all went well. And then with breastfeeding, like, I can just feel a bit consumed by it sometimes and very touched out. And then so to be in cold water in a bin, I mean, it doesn't have to be cold water. I guess I could go for a walk or do yoga or go for a run or go to the gym. But swimming is what I enjoy. Um, so it's a bit of me time and I do really recommend that it's something selfish that you can do for you um, yeah so that's really nice and that really helps me in my mindset and um, it was also ridiculous it is I'm not gonna like being in a bin is probably the most ridiculous thing I've done in a very long time I'm in a bin I'm in a wheelie bin um, I'm aware it's ridiculous and if you don't follow me on Instagram for my swimming I know I do a lot of it, so I know I'm aware it's ridiculous, but I think there's something refreshing about doing something ridiculous. Um, it helps me laugh, it, um, yeah, there's something very uh, cathartic about, particularly when you swim with friends, and one of you falls over in the mud, or you're all kind of waist deep in water going, I don't want to do this, and it just makes us laugh, it bonds us with an experience of overcoming pain and sharing and um, reveling in the ridiculousness of, it, this ridiculousness of it. So I think one of the main benefits to me is that it is ridiculous and that's great. Um, obviously I'm outside, um, which is a massive benefit. 
um, to restoring your mind, getting kind of fresh air, and um, particularly if you're not in a bin, you're actually in a lovely place. Um, cold water adds to the benefit of um, blue green spaces because you're somewhere beautiful and it gives you a fresh perspective on places that you might have walked past hundreds of times when you're at kind of water level. So you've got the perspective of a duck. Um, it's refreshing. Um, yes, there's lots of benefits. I mean, a lot of them are anecdotal. Um, a lot of them can possibly be found in other sports, you know, doing what you love outdoors with people. Um, it's going to make you feel good. But I particularly think that there's something a little bit added in a zing of cold water that might have something special in it. Um, might not, but I think it does. So yeah, there's the benefits I find to being in cold water.